Hi there, I'm Lavinia Urban and I'm an author and I'm mainly known for my Erin the Fire Goddess series. I put a message out on one of my Facebook pages and I'd asked, is there any questions that any anyone wants to ask me? And I said, I'll make, make a video for it. And a young girl um, called Penny Miller, who lives in Midlothian, had, had asked me, what inspires me? I mean, a lot of things inspire me. But one of the main things is you the reader if it wasn't for yourself then I wouldn't be where I was today I wouldn't be writing I mean I'd be writing but I wouldn't be wanting to keep publishing all the books and everything like that I'd be just writing for my own entertainment and not not bothering so it's great to have people who really enjoy my books so I can it, it keeps me going and going it's like when I have my down days and I'm thinking Oh, why do I even bother? There's always someone who sends that message of encouragement or, you know, leaves a little review. Reviews, love them. And when you go into Amazon or Goodreads and you see that someone's left you, even, even if it's not a great review, because even if it's not a great review, it can show you what's wrong. Like I've had some great reviews, I've had some bad reviews that have said, oh, there's there's editing issues. Now, I'm glad that these people told me that there's editing issues because that makes me go back and check them. Because there was one time when I had the beginning re-edited, re-released it, I realised I'd uploaded the wrong copy. So I was kind of like, no, but thank God for these people that had ended up putting this bad review. So I'm like, yeah, thank you. Now, I, I love music. So when I'm writing, music, music, music. So my latest, my latest book in the Erin the Fire Goddess series had um, I made my own little playlist and the play on my fo phone. Like you, I'll walk about and I'll have my headphones on because sometimes people can say hi to me or wave at me, but I'm in my own little world. I've got my headphones in and I, I can't. I'm in my, I'm in my zone, so I'm not being rude or anything like that. It's just that's where I'm going but I don't know if you can I mean this is my ooh, my playlist is it oh, it's a bit blurry but there's um on this one there's like Christina Perry Sam Smith love Sam Smith I want him to be my best friend <laughs> Um, Chris Brown Ed Sheeran um, see if I'm right, Carey in there. Ellie Golden, lover. Um, people, you know, there was a funeral song, and it was actually this song by Brandy. And Now I'd i first originally heard this in the movie called Set It Off. I love that movie. I absolutely love that movie. And hearing that song, I just cried and cried and cried. And I always said, when I eventually pass on from this world, that's the song that I want at my funeral. So, of course, when it comes to writing this book, that song was instantly on my head. And I was like, yeah, I have to have that song. So I did it and I wrote it, I, I purposely put the other title and everything I wrote just so you as a reader can go out and put it on YouTube and maybe play it as you're listening so you can get into the zone and everything like that and see where where I'm coming from. And then like the, ep the epilogue. Now I do like classical music so of course the epilogue was a bit, it was like, I'm gone. It had to it had to set the moment of it all because of what was happening, and no normal song that was out there would fit into it. So it had to be a classical song with. I feel like people know there's something scary is kind of like going on. So then, not only that inspires me, it's my family, but my two daughters. I mean, it was the series is actually named after my eldest daughter, and of course she's got. Um, a sister in the book is actually named after my other daughter. 
So, of course, the things that they do every day inspire me. I mean, they do some crazy things. So, what they do inspires me to do it. So, yeah, I think that's kind of just different things. I could be walking around, something could happen. I'm like, yeah, I've got to do that. And it's also, there's going to kind of be people that, people that annoy me. They inspire me to write a character that I can, a bad character or a character that I can kill off. Just things like that. You know, so, yeah. So, thank you, Penny Miller, for that question. And I hope I answered it. Bye.